Good morning, Washington Elementary Patriots, and welcome to WSIC, Washington School is Cool News, News Program. I'm Kenna Taylor, your news anchor for today. Today is Friday, April 27, 2018. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our moment of silence. Our proud patriot of the day is Jacob from Learning Center F. We challenge Jacob with the patriot promise of respect. Respect means treating others the way you'd wish to be treated. Every time you see Jacob showing respect today, let them know. Great job, patriot, and keep up the excellent work. Reminder, patriots, today is the last day to check out books. All library books are due by May 4th. Our expectation from the Cherry Tree Cafe is bottoms down. This expectation explains that whilst eating, sit with your bottoms down, either on your stool or on your foot, and visit with others at your table. Ask questions. Share news about yourself. Remember, if we all follow the expectations in our cafeteria, everyone will be able to enjoy their lunch time. On the menu for lunch today, you will have a choice between nacho and chili and cheese, fajada chicken wrap, corn niblets, southwestern beans, baby carrot cups, fr fr fruited gl gluten, and fruit slushy will also be served. Let's check in with our other WSIC reporters and see what they have to share with us today. <music> On this day in history, in 1994, Corey Seager was born on April 27, 1994. Corey is a professional baseball player for the LA Dodgers. The Dodgers selected Corey in the first round of 2012 Major League Baseball draft. He named Rookie of the Year in 2016. He is the number five and he helped the Dodgers reach the World Series in 2017 against the Astros, but they did not win. I'm Carly for Today in History. Now back to the studio. Good morning. I'm Nick Hall, the Senior Science Investigator of the Week. Today, our science segment focuses on physical science. The science question for the day asks, so how have we learned energy in the past five days? We have learned about kinetic energy, potential, and potential energy, friction, and vibrations. Potential energy is work that can be done but is not being done right now. Kinetic energy is work that is being done. Friction is when two surfaces rub together and that, and that causes resistance. Vibrations are movement through objects caused by touching or hitting something. That is what we have learned throughout this week. For today's science segment, I'm Nick Hall. Now back to the studio. This book is called Ferris, and it's about a girl named Aza. Although she doesn't look like a model, she has a great singing voice. In her kingdom, everybody sings, so that's something good for her. When she goes to the castle for an event, the queen-to-be calls her to be her lady-in-waiting. As she starts to fall in love with the prince, the queen's-to-be fiancé gets hit in the head with a horseshoe. You know, things are about to get really crazy. This book is by Gail Carson Levine. Reviews I've read it rate it more for a children's book. So it's more for third to fifth graders. They also rated it five out of five stars. So you may like it if you read it. I'm Mercy for today's book review. Now back to the studio. Zao Shang Hao. 
Welcome to Chinese Word of the Day. I'm Miss Li. Today we will learn three numbers and one major word in Chinese. So you can tell your friend how many elder sisters do you have. 你有几个姐姐 If you ask me that, I'm gonna tell you none or zero. But we're we're gonna learn to some numbers. So if you have any sisters, you can answer the question. So the first number is one. In Chinese, is yi, and second number is two. In in Chinese, is er. Or you can also say liang. The third number is three. In Chinese, is san. Say it with me, please. One is yi. Two is er. Or you can say 两 three is 三 Okay, one more time. 一二三 And the major word is 个 In Chinese, when we say one elder sister, we do not say 一姐姐 We say 一个姐姐 Two sisters is 两个姐姐 Three sisters is 三个姐姐 So tell me how many elder sisters or brothers do you have when you meet me at school today? 你有几个姐姐 How many elder sisters do you have? 你有几个哥哥 How many elder brothers do you have? 你有几个弟弟 How many younger brothers do you have? 你有几个妹妹 How many younger sisters do you have? If you ask me how many older brothers do you have, you should ask me. 你有几个哥哥 Come to ask me about this. See you next week. Thanks, team. Here is your joke for the day. Why did the cookie go to the hospital? Because it felt crummy. Signing off for the WSIC crew. I'm Cannon Taylor. Tune in next time for your WSIC news. Have a great day.